Who is a Muslim would like to call? All right. We have a caller. Hello. Hello. Yes. Who is with me, please? Hello. Yes, I hear you. Who is with me? Hello. I hear you, my friend. Can you hear me? Yes, I do. Yeah, you touched many points, actually. What do you want to know? Uh, you know, as I'm showing you in the screen, that Adam, you know, he was kicked out of heaven. For what reason? If Allah is the one who decreed for him 40 years before he created him to commit sin. Okay. So why he kicked out of heaven? It's not his fault. I mean, if if God, if Allah is God, and he he d decide for me to commit sin, can I say no? Do you know the difference between sin and original sin? It doesn't matter. This is the original sin, my friend. This is Adam. This is uh, this 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 guy. His name is Adam. His name is not Christian Prince. This is the first man. So this is the original sin. You say every born person is a sinner. I don't, listen, know. listen. Don't change the topic. I'm talking about Adam. This guy, his name is Adam. What what is the name of his? What his father name? He have no father. This is the first man. So this is the first man who commits sin. And the hadith says that Allah He decreed for him to commit sin forty years before He created him. How you can answer that? So why he is kicked out from heaven? I'm listening. Okay. Why he was kicked out of heaven? If Allah is the because, one, because he disobeyed Allah. What? What more do you want to know? What do you mean disobey Allah? Is Allah, Allah is the one who who decreed for him to do that? He did not. What? Actually, he did obey Allah. He did what, obey. What did he obey Allah? Abdu listen, listen. Can you read? Can you read? Read the hadith in front of me. It's on the screen. Read it for me, please. Can you read it? Can you read it? Yeah, I read it. Okay. He did obey Allah because he did the sin which Allah He commanded him to do. As you see, it says here that the, ha he had. He, no, listen, listen, listen. It says here. That Allah had decreed that I should do. Who is the one who decreed should I do? Allah. So what do you Adam know the did? Of decree? Yeah, what, what does that mean? Tell me. It's not commanding. It means he knows what happens to the humanity in the future. No, no. It says I should do. Do you see it? He should With do. Permission. No, no, no. He should no. No, no, no. He decreed. He 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 wrote for me my destiny, my friend. This is destiny. This is yeah, destiny. Muslims believe in free will. You don't believe in free will. It's in the front of you. So, so Allah, He wrote that for him. He said, "I should do that. I should do." Listen, listen. Read, read me. Read with me the story carefully. Moses and Adam having a debate. What Moses said? Moses says to Adam, "Because of you, because of you, we are kicked out of heaven." Correct? Okay. Okay. Now Adam is refuting him. Is that correct? So he said to him, "Well, do you blame me? Do you blame me?" For doing a deed which Allah had decreed that I should do forty years before He created me, so which means you cannot, which means you cannot blame me, correct? Which means, which means. Surah two, verse thirty-five. Allah specifically said to Adam to not approach the tree. No, no, this is the story in the Quran. No problem, no problem. This is the story in the Quran. But here, here, listen, listen, listen. Let us focus on here. We can go to the Quran because the Quran is more funny. I, I will go there. No problem. Do you see here? It says, "Do you blame me for doing a deed which Allah had decreed for me?" Which means you cannot blame me. Correct. Quran. Quran when I say, it, my friend, what's your name? 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 Muhammad. Muhammad. This is Muhammad. If I say to you, if I say to you, do you okay. blame me for what Allah He He decreed for me? That's mean. I'm saying to you, you can you cannot blame me. Do you agree? Yes. Okay. So Adam saying you can't blame me for that. Why? Because Allah, because anything. Allah had decreed. What the hadith is saying, we don't blame Adam for doing that. Is whatever he had done, he got his punishment. We are not like. No, 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 no. It's not you who care about you. I'm not asking if you blame or not. This is a Musa. Musa is a prophet. Musa is not yeah. a Musa. Listen, my my friend. Musa is not a guy who sells falafel in the street. This is a prophet of Islam too, correct? Okay. Okay. So how Musa says? How Musa says he's a Muslim? How Musa says? Listen, listen, listen. We can't talk at the same time. How Moses is a Muslim and yet he is blaming Adam for the sin to be out of heaven. How this happened? What? Hello? Hello? Listen. Yeah. How Moses, Moses, the, the, the debate between who? Between Musa and Adam. Musa is a prophet. Is that correct? 
Yeah, he's a man and a prophet. Yes. No, no, I'm not asking if he's God. For sure, we know he's a man. So yeah. Moses is a man and a prophet. Thank you for confirming that. So Moses, the prophet, how he got it wrong, and he is accusing Adam that because of you, we are out of heaven. That's how he thinks. That is how the hadith. What do you mean? Are, are you saying the prophet of Allah? Are you saying? I'm not, listen, listen, Muhammad. Are you saying the prophet of Allah, Moses, is wrong? Are you saying the prophet of Allah Musa's is wrong? Is, is he a man or a god? It doesn't matter. I'm asking you. Either you say yes, he's wrong, or you say no. Is he wrong when he said that? What did Musa do wrong? What did Musa? He simply asked a question to Adam. No, he's not what asking question. He, no, he is not asking question. He's accusing he him. He is not asking a question. Him. Hello, listen, listen, Muhammad. He is not asking question. Read with me quite carefully. He says, "You." Depraved us and caused us to come out of paradise. He is not asking question. He's accusing him So what do you mean so so I'm asking you why Moses get it wrong He is a Muslim prophet Allah sent him as a prophet and he spent his life as a Muslim prophet And yet he believed that Adam is the reason for us to be out of heaven. How he get it wrong? Do you know what Moses said when Allah was talking? This is another question. This is another question. We can, we can, we can go, we can go about what Moses says. Listen, listen. I'm asking you, why Moses? Why Moses accusing Adam of this? He is a Muslim or not? Just listen to me. All right. When Allah spoke to Moses, mm -hmm. Moses was not, was not sure whether Allah is speaking to him or not. He had. I lost giving you. him a perfected religion. Okay, he gave him a perfected religion, but the people were not ready to receive the perfect religion. So Muhammad, even Muhammad said that he doesn't know the future. Only Allah knows. What so does have to do? I don't know what Moses. Why Moses? What does have to do with my topic? What does have to do with my topic? What does have to do with our topic? What's what's wrong with you? Moses accusing. Listen, listen. Moses, Moses accusing. Accusing Adam. He's not accusing Adam here. He is. He is saying you drift us and caused us. To come out of paradise. Do you know how to read or not? Yeah. All right. Read with me. Read it to me. Read it to what me. What is the hadith saying? Did you get the point? What is the hadith? What well, the hadith is saying? The hadith saying the hadith that that Adam, Adam, he won the argument. Don't you see? Listen, listen. Accuse Adam for your sins. Yes, Adam. Yes, Adam said. Adam said. You cannot blame me. So Moses accusing yeah. Adam. Okay. Huh? And Adam saying, you can't blame me for this is what Allah wrote for me. 40 years before my, my, my creation. Yeah, finish. The topic is over then. Adam said it clearly. It was not, it was my fault. I was thrown into it. No, he, he did not say it's my fault. He didn't say it's my fault. He said, do you blame me? It's mean you cannot blame me. Do you blame me for doing deed which Allah had decreed that I should do, that I should do, that I should do. Do you speak English? 40 years before my creation. Allah said to Adam to eat the fruit or not? Simple question. We will, go, uh, we, we, we will go to the Quran and I will show you how funny the story of the Quran. The Quran is a disaster. You think you are saving yourself in the Quran? We will go there. If it's a disaster, then why are you discussing it? We are discussing this right now. I want because you are trying to avoid. You are trying to avoid a great. You are trying to avoid that your prophet he made a great contradiction, and he is. You said Quran is disaster. So how can you how can you argue from hadith if Quran is disaster? Okay, so if we go right now to the Quran, do you, do you promise me if we go to the Quran, you will not change the topic. You will not change topic and go back to the hadith. Go to the Quran. All right, guys. This uh, the Muhammad, he wanted to go to the Quran. Remember, this is his request. I'm just doing his request. Be my witness. All right? All right. We will go to the Quran. Hold on. And I will show you how funny the story of Adam, and you will be sorry in two seconds. All right. <clears throat> oh, Lord have mercy. All right. Switch to Arabic. All right. We will go to the Quran and we will read it from chapter two, if you don't mind. Chapter two, we start reading from Verse. All right.
Can you read for me, please, if you don't mind? Do you have the Quran you open in front of you? Quran, right? You speak Arabic. I'm not Arabic. You read it. It doesn't matter. You are the Muslim. You are. Listen, listen. Don't speak to me as you are older than me. I'm an Arab, and you know Muslims. You follow us blindly. So speak with respect. Now listen. You are the Muslim, and you are the one who asked me to go to the Quran. Correct? Yeah. All right. So I want you to read for me right now. Open chapter two. Chapter two, verse number thirty. 31, 32, 33, read for me. <clears throat> and we said, mm -hmm. Oh, Adam. Well, you and your wife in paradise, and eat therefrom abundance. What, from what, 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 you what verse? What verse you are reading? Thirty-five. And do not. No, no. I did not ask you. I did not ask you for thirty-five. I asked you to read it from thirty. Why? Because we want to prove our point. We start the story. Story from his creation. What happened? Read it for me. Okay. When your thirty-one. When thirty. When your Lord said to the angels. What, uh, what translation you are reading, please? What translation? Sahih International. Sahih International. Hold on. I have to go there. Give me a second, please. To be sure that we are reading the same text. I don't want to read the text you are not reading. All right, so we will go to Sahih. All right. Uh, Quran.com. All right. All right, my friend, go ahead. Then your Lord said to the angels, Indeed, I will make upon the earth a successively successive authority. They said, Will you place upon it one who causes corruption therein and sheds blood, while we declare your praise and sanctify you? Right. Allah said, Indeed, I know that which you do not know. Okay, let us stop here. What, what Allah mean by that? What the angels mean and what Allah mean? He knows what will happen in the future. That's I know, right. but what they, what they said, he said, you know, I know what you know not, correct? Yes. All right. What they what they said, what they claim? They claim that we are we will follow you, but the persons you will be creating will shed blood. So will you create them instead of us? All right. But Allah he didn't agree with them, correct? Yes. Okay. So guys, Allah did not agree with the angels. The angels they said that Adam will do mischievement. And Allah, he said to them, he didn't agree with them. And uh, we what heard... did he say? What don't put in your words? You Tell said that. What did he say? You said, you said, you said, you said that Allah did not agree with don't, them. Don't, don't play. Tell listen, me what the Quran says. Listen, listen. I ask you, you said Allah did not agree with Tell them. Yes. Allah, did Allah agree with them or not? Don't listen, listen, listen. You said Allah I did not. You, you people, you listen, people. listen, listen. You what are you afraid from repeating? It's recorded. Everybody is listening. A second ago, you said Allah did not agree with them. Yes or no? What? You, Al you Allah, what is there in the Quran? You said, yes. you said, we are reading Quran. I'm asking you to explain to me. I am a Christian. You are a Muslim. Listen, listen, did Allah agree with them or not? What did the Quran say? You tell me. I don't understand. I don't understand. You, no, you tell me. You tell me. You are the scholar. You are Zach and Naik. Should I speak to you as Zach and Naik? So you tell me to read Quran. And now I'm asking you what the verse means. The angels, they said he would do mischief. Man, did Allah agree with them or he did not? He said, I indeed, I know that you do not know. Not the that question. Not the question. The question is, did he agree with them or not? Either you say yes, he agreed or he said he did not agree. I, do you think I am Allah? I don't care if you are Allah or not. Maybe he's leg. I don't care. I'm asking you what this verse means. Did Allah agree with them or not? What, what did the verse say? What did you understand? My me? friend, I'm asking you a very simple question. Do you agree with the, did you say, do you agree? That Allah, He says He agree with them, or He did not agree with them. So tell me. Allah said, "I know which you do." Don't not repeat. Do. Don't repeat. Don't, you are just reading the verse. You are just reading the verse, Abdul. I want the answer. Did Allah agree when He said? Not my answer, okay? I want the answer. I want the answer. Did Allah agree with them, or He did not agree? What did the verse say? I don't care. You tell me. Don't read the verse for me. We can read it too. You are explaining it right now. I want, I want to, I want an answer. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you, Abdul? What's wrong with you? Are you scared to say he agree or he did not agree? Did he agree or not? He said, "I know that you do not." I don't care what he said. I give me the meaning. Did Allah agree with the angels or he did not agree with them? 
angel said not to create Allah i don't care I, this is not the question this is not abdul this is not the question my friend answer the question did allah agree with the angels or he did not agree with the angels he said Oop. i know which you do not i know what he said i know what he said what's wrong with you i'm asking you did he agree or he did not agree with the angel worship a human who's who listen how can you talk you will go i want to talk about he, jesus now you see he is in the corner he is in the corner do you see you see how dumb they are he is in the corner why are you changing the topic why are you are changing topic answer because let, let me tell you why you are changing the topic because you know that this story is very dumb and very stupid this is why is, 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 is that correct you worship that is that correct is that correct is that correct abdul is that correct why you are trying to run away you asked me to read the quran and now in the quran and i'm asking you a simple question you want to answer you 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 worship a man are you going to answer or not and you worship a man do you want me to show you that you worship a man do you want me to show you that allah have a leg and allah have a penis and allah have an ass allah have, allah have testicles do you want me to show you that allah he's he right in a rooster do you want me to show you that allah listen listen do you want me to show you that allah he sneezes do you want me to show you that allah he masturbate do you want me to show you that allah have a sperm do you challenge me yes or no allah has a sperm do you challenge me yes or no what no do you challenge me to show you that allah is a man yes or no do you challenge me challenge me do you challenge me yeah show me all right so we will change the topic now. So we will go there, and then you don't change topic, and we we'll go back, right? Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Let me show you the fat Allah. How do we go? You think you're very smart, huh? Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, not smart. The one who believes that camel urine is healthy is smart. You believe a human is listen, God listen. Don't, 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 don't. Your God Allah is a human. I will show you in a second, and I will make you apologize. Show me from Quran. No, from Quran. Okay, from Quran. Did he say Quran? Did he say Quran? Did, okay, he said Quran, right? We will go to the Quran. Forget about the Hadith. Show me from the Quran. Okay. Quran. Show me from the Quran. All right. If we Muslims <laughs> tell you about Gospel of Thomas, Abdul, God, Abdul, don't, 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 don't. Here we go. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Explain to me this verse. Allah is going to strip, and He will show us His shin. Which, what, which was? Allah will do striptease and show us how his, his shin. Chapter 68, <laughs> verse number 42. <laughs> the day Allah, the day Allah will show his shin and he will explore, he will ex expose his shin and he will ask them to bow down, but they will not be able to do so. Brother, show me the number worst. My the friend, number it's number in the number screen. Number. It's in the screen. Chapter 68, verse number 42. Chapter 16? Mm hmm. Chapter 68, verse number 42. <clears throat> You found it? Okay. Read for me, please. What happened? Do you want me to read for you? Sahih International? This is the translation you like. The day the shin will be uncovered. Okay. This is a shin of who? What is shin? What shin? Shin is a part of the leg. Okay. Okay. Allah will Allah will uncover his shin. Why? Why Allah is going to show us his shin? Are you searching Google? You see, we Christian, we say, we say hallelujah. You Muslim should say shenanuya. Why Allah showing his shin? Yeah, front part of the leg, right? It doesn't matter. It's a part of the leg. Allah have a full leg, part leg, I don't care. Why Allah will show his shin? 
Do you know the meaning of that? That verse. Abdul, I'm asking you. Are you asking me? I am the one who's asking you. Why Allah will show His shame? So that we can fall, fall before Him. So Allah have a shame. It's you just told, you told me you told me that your Muslims worship you you told me that we Christian worship a man Allah has a shin yeah, what is a shin that's true you okay no problem no problem shin. okay Allah shin Allah the shin is shin of who what kind of shin it is what kind of shin what kind of shin Allah he have is that the shin of a man we don't know. We don't know. We don't so know he's an animal he's an animal is he an animal what is he an animal I'm asking you, Allah, Allah have only one shin or he have many shin. Listen, Abdul, Abdul, listen. Allah have one shin or many shin. What? Allah has many shin or only one shin. The Quran doesn't tell that. How come? Why? Don't you didn't you know? Why? Okay. Based on the Quran, we will go by the Quran. The Quran says the, the Quran says, listen, listen, the Quran says Allah will uncover his shin. He did not say shins, correct? Which means there's only one shin. Do the you Quran says hands so Allah, 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 Allah have hands so you know that okay thank you thank you Allah have hands and both of them they are in the right side is that correct he, he might have but we don't know how they are he's so it doesn't matter so even so is, if he is not a man so he have a physical being why, why so you so you admit you admit okay you admit you admit hold on hold on you admit that your God Allah is a physical being is that correct who said that? He doesn't you just said, you just said that. You, 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 you. Muhammad, you just said that. You said Allah have hands too. You, you just said that a second I, I ago. Not say the Quran says all those things. It's metaphorical. We don't draw. No, no, not metaphorical. Who said metaphorical? Who is the scholar? He said to you metaphorical. Who is the one? Give me his name. I, I will give him a span. What is the name of the scholar? He told you. Allah has hands and legs. Yeah. Then why don't we worship Allah with hands and legs? Tell me the answer. You worship Allah with hands and legs because the Quran says He have hands and legs. No Muslim in the world says that Allah Allah has a body and hands. And, why don't you tell the Christians? About hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. No Muslim in the world says that. Let us see what your prophet said. No Muslim in the hold on. Let us see what your prophet. Let us see what your prophet said. Ah, you know Islam more than your prophet. No Muslim in the world says that. Your prophet said that, my friend. Look what he said to me. The Prophet S A W S S F E G M O A A Q said, I have told you so much about the Dajjal Antichrist that I am afraid that you may not understand. The Antichrist is short, hidden, tooted, really heard, one eyed, etc., etc., etc. He's short, he's fat, he have a big butt, he have a big ass. And then he says, If you are confused, if you are confused about him, know that your Allah is not one eyed. Is that correct? Do you agree? What is your point? Do you agree? Well, what mean the difference point? between this man, the difference between the, the Muslim, they will be confused about him and the Dajjal. The Dajjal is a short man. Yeah, he has a big ass. Know. Listen, listen, listen. The Dajjal, did, 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 did Muhammad say? Muhammad, 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 did, Muhammad, a second ago, I showed it from the Quran. And, 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 and a second after you said, I no Muslim, you. hold on, hold on, Abdul. You are the one who said to me, no Muslim say that we believe Allah have, 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 have physical being bodies. People, they can go right now and search on YouTube and they will see thousands of videos of Muslims explaining how the hands of Allah are. They are physical. Oh, the foot of Allah. Bible listen, Bible listen, Bible listen, Bible listen. Bible yeah, Bible you Bible see, Bible you are a coward. You are a, you are a coward and you are a kid. You are a coward and you are a kid. You don't answer, right? Is that your prophet saying that or me? Where did the prophet say that in the, in the Quran? I don't understand. Okay, listen, 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 listen. Is that your prophet saying that? Is that your prophet saying that Allah is not one eyed and don't confuse between him and between a man? A Dajjal is a man. Why? Why the Muslims, Abdul, why the Muslim will be confused between him and the man? You said Dajjal, right? Where is that verse? One night Dajjal, fat. One it's in the front of you. It's in the front of you. It's in the front of you. Sunan Abi Dawood, your prophet is, is talking. Is that Quran? A second ago, you told me no Muslim says that. In order to show you who Muslim who says that, this is mean it's not in the Quran. You did not say to me, Allah did not say that. You said to me, no Muslim says that. So I wanted to show you who is the Muslim who said that. So I get you the best of the Muslims. His name is Muhammad ibn Abdullah. So now we have the best of the Muslims, the prophet himself. So now, do you agree with him or you don't? I didn't understand you. Really? Muslim wrote. Okay, Muslim hold on, hold on. Let yes, me yes, let yes, me yes. explain to you. Let me explain to you in the language you understand. You speak very fast. Yeah. But, okay, no brother. Brother the brother Kusam translated that in question. Okay. Why Allah? He's saying 
uh, Allah Prophet is saying that if you are confused between the brother uh, between the Dal at the Dal and between the Karnaik or between Allah, you better know that Allah is not one eyed. Why the Muslim they will be confused if Allah is not a man? In Eastern languages, one eyed means wicked. It, what don't mean Eastern language? Are you an Arab? Are you an Arab or not? Are you an Arab? Are you an Arab? This, this is this is the main problem. Abdul, Abdul, what Eastern language? What Eastern language? You're a prophet comparing between a man who is short and he have a fat ass and he have a blooger in his nose and not why and why he is saying you will be confused. Where is the point of confusion? Where is the confusion coming from? Why? Why? Listen, answer, answer. Don't don't shout. Why you will be confused? Why your prophet? He said this word. If you, you are confused, literally, then show me where, where, where did the dead people become alive and walk through Jerusalem in Matthew and in Luke? They wrote those things. Right? Abdul, 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 Abdul. Abdul. You are a monkey. You are a monkey like your prophet. That's why you keep jumping from a topic like a topic. And you say, you are, just get lost. Get lost. You see how coward they are? You are like a prostitute who had no panty and trying to find the panty in my drawer. It's not here. You can jump in like a monkey from a place to a place. No Muslim believe that Allah is a man. Hey, this is your Muslim Muhammad. He is saying Allah is a man. And he think he will be confused one day in the judgment day between him and between a man. How you will be confused if Allah is not a man anyway? What is the reason for Muhammad to be confused between a man and Allah if Allah is not a man? This man is short. He have a big ass. He is fat. He have a curly hair. He have a booger in his nose. He have one lost eye. And Muhammad trying to make you to clear it for you. If you are confused, there is only one difference between the fat man and Allah. What is the difference? Your God, Allah, is not one eyed. And right away he start talking about Jesus. How you worship a man? Hmm? How you worship a man? You worship a beast. You worship you worship an octopus. If Allah have one shin, yeah, if Allah have one shin, and the funny guys, the hadith, the hadith says that Allah have two hands in the right side. I mean, I, what kind of a funny creature that funny is? Two hands in the right side. Let me show you. You want to play with the Christian prince? You have no idea you are talking to who. Ah, Lord. Read with me. And both of his hands are right. Do you see it? And both of his hands are right hands. Guys, for, for the sake of God, if one of you is good in drawing, draw for me Allah. Allah have a shin. He will do striptease. Allah is not one-eyed. Okay? He did not lose his eye in the war. In the jar he lost it. He is fat, he is short, he have a big ass, he have a curly hair, but he is not one eyed, and he have two hands in the right side, and he have he have one shin. This is how stupid Islam is. They want to debate us about Jesus, but they do not even know who is their God. And look how many topic we jump. And there is no Muslim he says Allah have two gods. He's he's calling again. Let us laugh. How are you, Abdul? Do you have the answer? Hello. Hello. Yes. Yeah. Did you get the answer for me? Am I live? Did you get the answer for me? Why Allah have a shin? And why Allah have two hands? And why Allah, why your prophet comparing him to a fat man? I can't hear myself on the screen. Is this live or are you talking to me personally? Uh, I'm not talking to you personally. Everybody is listening. Okay, yeah, tell me. I'm asking you, why I'm your prophet, you, show why you're a prophet. Show me from the Bible, where did the dead people come into <laughs> Jerusalem and meet with their old friends? Just get lost. Abdul. This is a program to get your prophet busted. We are not talking about Jesus. When we make a title about Jesus, we will talk about Jesus. You are a coward like your prophet. They call me to change the topic because they are afraid to answer. Your God, Allah, obviously is a man. He not only is a man, he's short, he's fat, and he's funny. He has one shin and he has two hands in the right side. 
And your God Allah, he have a front, but he have no back. I mean, how this can be? Your God Allah is a jellyfish. What's wrong with you, Muslims? You worship who? You have no idea. We keep asking the Muslims, who is Allah? They do not know. And look how we jump from place to place to place. When we ask him why in the Quran, Allah, he said to the angels, I know what you know not. He did not dare to say, he, Allah, agree or disagree. Do you know why? Because the stupid Allah, when he disagreed with the angels that Adam would do mischievement, he was wrong. This is why this idiot, he did refuse to answer. Because all of us, we knew that Adam was kicked out of heaven. So the angels were right. When Allah He says to them, I know what you know not, He is a stupid. Hey Abdul. Are you yeah. going are you going to stay on the yeah. topic or you will jump like a monkey? Yeah, talk to me. I'm talking to you. Why your prophet comparing Allah to a man? I can I can't hear you properly. Please speak loudly. Brother, brother, why are you prophet comparing Allah to a man, brother? Don't you know the meaning of metaphor? What is metaphor? This is metaphor. Allah have two hands. There is no metaphor. Allah have two hands. Allah have a shin. And Allah is not one eyed. Okay. Okay. Explain to me. Explain to me. Allah is not one eyed. What does that mean metaphorically? He means he is not wicked. What? Not what? He is Arabic. You know that. One eyed people. One eyed means wicked people. Huh, one eyed one eyed people one eyed people are wicked people. Ooh, wow ooh, okay. Well I am not eyed one eyed people, man. Listen, I am not one eyed, and there's millions of people who refuse Islam and they are not one eyed. So are you saying to me the owner of a Playboy magazine is not a wicked man because he have two eyes? Are you stupid or what? John, listen to me. Listen, Show me the owner of a Playboy magazine, is he wicked or not? Playboy magazine is run by Christians. Not he is not. He is a Muslim like you because he worship Christian penis. Playboy he worship penis. Christian You're a prophet. He, listen, did your prophet promise you to have a penis will never go sleep? Yes or no? Pardon? Did your prophet promise you that you will have a penis who will never go sleep? You have what? You have what? Did your prophet? Should I say it to you slow? Did yeah. you? Did your prophet? Did your prophet? Promise you that in the heaven Allah will give you a penis will never sleep. Yes or no? Are you mad? I'm asking you did he or not? I'm asking you. Are you mad? No, I'm not your prophet. Why, why are you taking all the books and all the listen? Here we go. This is the hadith in the front of me. It says Muhammad he says I swear I swear there's no one whom Allah will admit to paradise. Read with me. Read with me. Abdul, Abdul, Abdul. Hold on. Hold on. Let me let me let 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 me let me. Uh, Do you know what is daif hadith? Uh, da everything is daif. All the hadith I showed you is daif. The Quran is daif. Get lost. Go right now and search, you idiot, for Sheikh Hamza. He will give you a lesson and he will spank you. Daif hadith is accepted, and all the hadith I showed you until this one, it was strong, and you are dumb like your prophet. 